Yo, what's up, my fellow tours? It's Arif on the Vario Pepino, man. Coming at you with another video for your butt. And um, today, uh, this is a response to Todd Burling Games' um, contest. And what he wanted us to show our favorite autograph baseball card. This is my favorite autograph that I have. But he wanted a baseball card. So, a lot of people, I don't really have a favorite autograph baseball card. Because in my generation, um, I used to believe that that was um, a no-no. But now that's all the rage. So, and I saw how everybody had a story behind their card. So, I'm going to share my story behind this card right here. Um, so, here we go. Okay, so this is Reggie Jackson. I met him one time on the set of the Bench Warmers when I used to work at a place called Big League Dreams in Chino Hills. And I asked him for an autograph, but all I had was a softball. And he tells me, don't you have a baseball? And I was like, no, nah, I couldn't afford one because they were like 25 bucks. That's why I couldn't buy one at that time. And he said, do you have a baseball card? I said, yeah, I have a Reggie Jackson baseball card, but uh, I don't believe in uh, writing on them. That diminishes the value. That's like a bad thing in my days. And so he starts telling me uh, they have autograph cards now and this and that. And I had been out of the hobby for like 10 years. And I had never even heard of that. So he told me, tomorrow, I'll bring you one. Okay, so the next day, he brings me this card. It's an upper deck, and he had already signed it. And he said he had it laying around his pad for a while. And he gave it to me, which is pretty freaking sick, right? And I was a Dodger fan, I used to hate his guts. Uh, if you know the story behind him and Tommy Lasorda, Tommy Lasorda hated him. And I watched him on the news. Just, he hit three home runs against us one time, and Tommy Lasorda would not give him credit, and neither would I. But then when I met him, he was a cool guy, changed my mind. Let me tell you the story behind that jersey in 44. So on the back of this jersey, when I bought it at a thrift shop, uh, I had the number 44, it was a Reggie Jackson jersey, and I took it to this cheap-ass little um, soccer uh, jersey place. And I told them, hey, can you put another 4 on here? So they peeled off the old 4, which you, I don't know if you could barely see the outline of the old 4. which It's a cheap material, but it used to be a 44 Reggie Jackson, right? And um, so a week later, when they come in to pick it up, I go pick it up, and it's got a 49 on there. And I said, hey, it was supposed to be a 44. They're all like, oh, we were out of 4s. So we put a nine because it looks like a four. Can you believe that? And so anyways, after he gave me the card and we were talking a little bit more, the reason um, I used to know uh, the general manager at my place was Darren Miller. He used to play with them. So he introduced me to him and um, we were hitting it off crew, right? So after he gave me the card, he asked me if I heard of Under Armour. And Under Armour hadn't really came out yet. They weren't popular. And he told me he just signed a contract with them. He's on it's the greatest material on earth. And he tells me, look at I'm wearing an uh, Under Armour shirt under here touch my stomach and he grabs my hand and he puts it in a shirt so I can touch his stomach so I'm touching his stomach and he's like it's cool right it's cool and I'm like yeah I'm like yeah he's like look how hot it is outside and my stomach's cool and I'm not shitting you as this is happening Adam Sandler and um a little short dorky guy um Will Schmell uh, whatever his name is um so they pass by and they're looking at me and they're like hey what's going on here and Reggie's all oh, shirt on the other end. He's like, oh, we don't even want it on. They walk by. So anyways, that guy was Ralph Schneider. And so they, he gave me this card. And that's how I got this Reggie Jackson card. First autograph card I ever had. And I don't believe, probably didn't have another one for like 10 years after I got this one. So that's the story behind my Reggie Jackson. Keep collecting, people. I love the hobby. Baseball cards forever, essay.